Why did you bring Olivia here? I didn't bring her here. Right. A magical fairy granted your wish, and poof, Olivia Pope appeared in the Oval Office. Really? Or you made one of your masturbating late-night phone calls, and she came running over. I didn't call Olivia. Karen did. Karen? Karen got into some trouble last night. There was a party. She got drunk. Things got... You should be glad she called Liv. I should be glad... Liv got her out of there. She's handling the situation. I should be glad... Melly. Focus. I am the mother. This is not her family. This is my family. I am the one who picks up the pieces. I am the one who holds this family together. I want her out of here. You get Olivia Pope out of here. I don't want her anywhere near my child. I will fix this. I will make the decisions. You know what? You just stay out of it. I have dealt with drunk Melly, bad hygiene Melly. No, wait, I got it. Smelly Melly. I have dealt with drunk Melly and smelly Melly and screw everything to hell Melly and cry baby Melly and eat everything that is not nailed down Melly. And I have not complained, but I will not put up with whatever righteous history rewriting Melly you have going on right here, right now. This is not your family. You are not the mother, not since Jerry died. Since Jerry died, you have abdicated your role. You have mothered no one. You hold nothing together. You pick up no pieces. You know how I know this? Because baby Teddy thinks his mother is Nanny Jen. And Karen spent last night in a threesome with two guys doing a move on her they like to call Eiffel Towering. You know how I know that? I saw the sex tape they made. So you should be damn glad she called Olivia because Olivia Pope is fixing this mess, this mess that you made, this mess that we made. Well, I know that I share some guilt in all of this, but you want to know the difference between you and me? All day, every day, I am running a country. I am grieving for the loss of my son, but I am also running a country. All day, every day, you are sitting around in booties and a dirty robe, eating chips and getting drunk at 11 a.m. A sex tape. Yeah. She takes after her daddy then, doesn't she?